obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a shell and tube heat exchanger with a spiral baffle. The problem simulates heat transfer inside the shell and tube heat exchanger with a spiral buffer. The heat exchanger is a device for transferring heat between two hot and cold fluids. The two most common heat exchanger in the industry are plate heat exchanger and shell and tube heat exchanger. The shell and tube heat exchangers consist of a cylindrical outer shell and a set of inner tubes inside. One of the cold or hot fluids passes through the space between the tubes and the outer shell and the other fluid passes through in the inner space of the inner tubes in the same direction or vice versa. One way to enhance the heat transfer process between two fluids is to use buffers in the fluid flow path inside the shell. The use of buffers in the fluid flow causes turbulence in the fluid flow through the shell and further contact the fluid with the tube. And as a result, heat transfer is enhanced. But on the other hand, it causes a pressure drop in the fluid as well as the deposition of fluid in the shell. Therefore, the use of helical baffles reduce the pressure drop and sedimentation inside the heat exchangers in addition to strengthening the heat transfer between two fluids. In the current model, the heat exchanger consists of several internal tubes and a spiral buffle inside the shell. The flow of water with a flow rate of 0.5 kg per second and a temperature of 300 Kelvin enters the shell from the shell inlet and is exchanged with the tube with a constant temperature of 450 Kelvin. In fact, it is assumed that the cold flow passes through the shell and the hot flow through the inner tubes, but for simplicity, the model assumes that the temperature of hot fluid flowing through the tubes during the process has a constant temperature value which is assumed to be 450 Kelvin. The present 3D model is designed using Design Modeler software. The model is a shell and tube heat exchanger that includes an external shell and several internal tubes inside. The diameter of the shell is 3 cm and its length is 60 cm. Inside the interior and between the shell and tube, a spiral buffer is used. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 1,629,340 and the accuracy of the cells in the areas adjacent to the wall of the tubes is higher. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. After double clicking on the energy button in the appear box, you can see that we have enabled the energy equations since we wanted to calculate the temperature changes and temperature distribution inside our computational domain. Now in order to add a new material, all you have to do is right click on fluid and then select new. After that, in the appear window, uh, you either can define the new material by defining its properties yourself, or by clicking on fluid database, you may select your desired material from the list of available materials in the fluent software. Now if you click on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be mass flow inlet. By clicking on edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. Now, in the appear window, in front of the mass flow rate section, you can see the mass flow rate of water liquid entering our computational domain. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. 
Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now, in this part, we have extracted 3D and 2D contours by the means of CFD Post software. Now, in order to extract a 3D contour, all you have to do is to click on Volume Rendering button and accept the appeared window. After that, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the variable, you may select your desired variable. Uh, in this case, we have selected the velocity. After that, by clicking on the Apply button, the software will show you the 3D contour. Now, in this contour, you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain in 3D format, and you may also see the velocity of the air, water flow entering and exiting our computational domain for heat exchange. Now this time in order to extract streamlines all you have to do is to click on the streamlines button and then accept the appeared window. After that just like the previous slides uh, in the low left side of the software window uh, in front of the start from section we select the shell inlet boundary and then click on apply button. Now in this slide you can easily see the streamlines of the water flow flowing inside a heat exchanger. Now in this contour you can easily see the effect of baffles causing the water flow to rotate inside the heat exchanger space. Now in this 2D contour you can easily see the temperature changes from the inlet boundary to the outlet where the temperature has uh, increased due to the heat transfer between the water liquid flow and the uh, inner tubes. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.